For the past four weeks, we've given candidates in the major races five minutes to talk about the issues. It's part of our commitment to keeping you informed this election year. And now here's Brendan with our final Democracy 2010 segment. And I'm here with Kendrick Meek. He is the Democratic nominee for U.S. Senate in a three-way race against Governor Charlie Crist and Marco Rubio. Mr. Meek is also a U.S. representative in Congress from Miami. Thanks very much for being Thank you so on Democracy much. 2010. Glad to be here. Good to have you. Now, uh, Mr. Meek, I know you've always been a champion of the class size reduction, uh, which is the law of the land in Florida now. Uh, however, after school started this fall, there was a lot of concern that uh, you know teachers were scrambling to try to meet that rigid per class minimum and it was difficult kids got moved around and it was upsetting for some families um, are you open or flexible to the idea of relaxing those per class restrictions in the interest of just the budget constraints that mm -hmm. school districts face now mm -hmm. well if i was a member of the legislature i would say yes but i'm, I'm not um, the legislature has control of that it has very little to do with the constitution the constitution just guarantees that the state and not the local districts are responsible for the cost of smaller class sizes here in this county you had forty kids in third grade in a classroom now it's a lot smaller because of the constitutional amendment it would, we would have to show years of neglect um, of having large class sizes for injunctive relief to be filed by, or to be awarded to um, school uh, teachers or students so the legislature um, could change the implementing bill and should and could relax um, the class size do requirements. You, my question but is do you think they should? It doesn't I think they should but I think that um, it's not unconstitutional for a class that's slated for 18 kids mm -hmm. to be 20 or 22 but if it continues to be that number over a period of years then you are brushing up against the Constitution okay you hear a lot of uh, Republican candidates that seem to be running uh, as much against their opponent as President Barack Obama uh, his name is invoked in a lot of TV commercials and so on um, and there, there are polls to suggest that there's a widespread anger against the federal government uh, among uh, Americans and Floridians. On what issues do you think this administration uh, is getting a bad rap? And on what issues do you think they, they deserve some, some blame? Well, I can tell you right now, um, health care, which we have 3,500 Floridians losing their insurance every week here in Florida, that's increasing insurance costs for everyday Floridians, had something had to be done. And it will get better as we continue to move on. Um, insurance companies are saying, oh, we have to go up on premiums and co-pays because of the health care bill. But what was their excuse the year before that and the year before that and the year before that? I think it's important to note that on health care, um, it's a very important measure to making sure that Florida um, not only healthier but our seniors are able to get what they deserve in the Medicare program I think one of the things that um, looking at the administration of what could have you know what can be done a lot better is to push forward as it relates to tax policy we have a lot of the conservatives saying that it's okay to borrow 700 billion dollars to give tax cuts to millionaires and billionaires uh, middle-class tax cuts are important and so forecasting the tax cuts for the future I think it you know could have been a, a harder push um, in Congress by the administration to push those tax cuts it through even though Okay. They've been out there trying to make it happen. Well, since you brought that up about the Bush tax cuts, uh, you're advocating that they be continued for the middle class but cut off for those over $250,000 mm -hmm. per, per, per family. Middle, my, middle class and small businesses. Sure. Well, that's my question. Uh, the supporters of this idea of extending them to all say that that cutting it off from the wealthy people, is they're the ones who create the jobs, that this would be a job killer. Let me tell you what's interesting about that whole debate. You have a lot of the special interests that's pushing that. Um, Charlie Chris and Marco Rubio are on that side of saying that it's okay to give tax cuts to companies that ship jobs overseas. The tax cuts that we're talking about only account for 2 to 3 percent of small business um, 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 community that's there. I'm saying let's take that 2 to 3 percent that's producing jobs and, and, and move forward with the tax cuts. The policies, this is a Bush policy, and now middle class families are making 5% less than what they were making 10 years prior to that policy being put in place. So now we're saying it's okay, because you have Marco Rubio, Charlie Chris, and including myself, concerned about the deficit. They're saying, oh, let's just borrow another $700 billion from China and India and get more into debt, which the middle class would have to pay time back. Time for one quick question. You criticize your opponents for uh, what you claim is their uh, desire to privatize Social Security. But what's your plan? Most serious economists say that you've either got to reduce benefits 
for Social Security and Medicare recipients or raise the premiums, one or the other? What are you going to do? You, let me tell you what we are going to do. We're going to expand middle class, the middle class workforce and creating not only green jobs, um, but, but working with local government to be able to attract more jobs and expand jobs here. That's the only way we're going to be able to deal with the trust fund issue. All right. Kendrick Meek, thank you very much for thank being you. on thank Democracy you. 2010. This is your Democratic candidate for U.S. Senate. The election day is November 2nd.